Hello and welcome to A-Level Religious Studies. In this short presentation, I will try and give you a little flavour of the topics that are involved in religious studies, the ways in which we'll work and the skills that you'll develop along the way. A-Level RS has three separate papers, the philosophy of religion, religion and ethics, and development in Christian thought, which is basically theology. The three papers have a wide variety of units within them. However, the important thing to remember is that the skills that you develop in philosophy are the same as the ones you would develop in ethics and the same as the ones you would develop in theology. So the units work well together and the skills development progresses naturally as you move through the course. Some of the key content in philosophy includes the arguments for and against the existence of God, we look in particular at the problem of evil and other challenges to theism. In ethics, we look at a variety of ethical theories, how they are structured and the impact of those theories for the action of the follower. And in theology, we look at the person of Jesus and different interpretations of his teachings, including more contemporary interpretations such as liberation theology, the relationship between theology and gender and the rise of secularism. A-Level RS is a great debating subject, so your skills of oracy will in be enhanced and this will impact on your written skills as well. We look at uh, some of the classic arguments such as the problem of evil and how anybody can believe in an omnibenevolent, omniscient and uh, omnipotent God in the face of the evil that surrounds us in the world today. We also look at thought experiments, so one of the most well known is the trolley problem. In the trolley problem, you are faced with a situation. The situation is that there is a train hurtling down the train track at speed. We are unable to stop the train, there is no driver and there is no brake. We can see further down the train track, five people have been tied up. If we do nothing, the train will hurtle down the train track and all five people will be killed. However, just before they, where the five people are, there is a junction. And if we um, pull on a lever, we can redirect the train. If we redirect the train, it will no longer go over the five people tied to the line. However, in redirecting it, it will go over the one person who is tied to the other track. So in saving the five on the first track, you become responsible for the death of the one on the second track. And we look at all the different theories and how they would approach this problem. In utilitarianism, we might say that this is the right thing to do because the death of one person is less bad than the death of five. However, in difficult ethical theories, the action of pulling on the lever gives you a greater degree of moral responsibility. So standing by and doing nothing, although it results in five people's deaths, you are less morally accountable because you did not do anything to cause their death. If you pull that lever, you have done something that will result in the death of that one person and therefore you are more morally responsible. As we play with this idea, we can add in information that we know about the people, and see if that makes any difference. Um, we can add in different variations and weigh up all the different permutations of our responsibility, our guilt and our virtue, looking at our intentions, our consequences, our motives. And in such ways, we can um, take our ethical theories and apply them to situations. And we do this with thought experiments, but we also do it with more realistic situations where we look at sexual ethics, business ethics and euthanasia. A-level RS is an essay-based subject. There are three papers and each paper is essay-based. They are two hours long each. Because A-level RS is an essay-based subject, you do require a good level of written English. However, the most important skill that you're going to need to study A-level RS is an open and inquiring mind. The skills of critical analysis and evaluation are the most important skills that you will develop. A-level RS is a very highly respected qualification. Um, at university, people who are thinking about studying law, medicine or education would do well to think about A-level RS. 
The skills that are developed in RS, those of evaluation analysis, the ability to understand viewpoints of other people and understand how belief affects behaviour, means that A-level RS is a, a vital skill to have if you're going to do any career that involves working with people or working with ideas. So police, probation work, social work, nursing, uh, teaching, journalism, media, anything to do with research as well. In all these careers, A-level RS would be highly welcomed. Okay, so I hope that has given you a little flavour of the sorts of things that you might study if you take A-level RS at Consett Academy. If you have any further questions, do get in touch.